All right, so today Jack is going to uh, get ready to install the rest of the components for his solar, and that way he can get his refrigerator running. So some of the items that he does have is, uh, we'll mount the battery box right in here. These are the wires coming from the solar panel, and we're going to put a fuse in between the solar panel and the controller, and then uh, controller to the battery, and then the battery to the inverter. So we just been playing around where we're going to put things. So, Jack, give us a little tour where you're going to put stuff. The battery's going to go right in here. Inverter. We have the switch, the outlets to the refrigerator. The inverter will go right in here. Okay. The fan is right there, so it's able to suck air keep it cool. This is going to mount right in here with the controller. That way you'll be able, to, like this. be able to see it when you lift the door up and uh, see what kind of power you're making. Yep. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get those installed. Okay, so what Jack's got done so far, wires coming in from the uh, solar panel. We have an inline fuse and right now it's turned off so no power. We got the wires coming to the controller so this part is the solar and then we've got the two wires coming out for our battery. So next is to install the battery box and then we'll put the battery in we'll start making the connections and then we'll mount the uh, inverter and we'll get the wires connected to that then we'll have power to uh, the equipment. Then it's just a matter of running some uh, cables to uh, switches and get power to the refrigerator. That's the ticket. So well, that's where we're at so far. And it's a nice little clean setup. So with everything kind of installed at the moment, so we've got our inline fuse from the solar panel. And then that's going to the controller. Then uh, from the controller, we're going into the battery. And once we connected the battery, now we're producing power. So, solar panels producing 13 and a half volts and charging up the battery. Gives you a couple of cycles here. Ambient temperature and panels are drawing about 1.9 amps. And, yep. On a semi cloudy day. On a semi cloudy day. Jack's a happy camper. Get that set where you want it. take our wires and we'll uh, put the lugs on those, attach it, and then we'll figure out the length that we need, put the lugs for the battery, and then we can connect the inverter and we'll have power. So the next task is to uh, put our lugs on the cables now that we got them cut to length. So this is going from the inverter to the battery, and so we just want to See how far back we want to trim this edge here. Take our cutter, set it on here. Just slowly turn that around. Once you get to the wires, you'll feel it. So we don't want to cut any of the wiring. Just like so. Take our lug. Make sure we get all the wire in there. We got a hydraulic press here for our cables. Set that through. Jack's going to push that as tight as he can. Start at the bottom. Loosen it up. Go to the top. 
top. Nice crimp. Now we'll do that the second one. And we don't have a heat shrink tape large enough to go over that. So we're going to use electrical tape. Tape up that end. Now we're ready to connect the inverter to the battery. You want that one straight down, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'd point it both straight down. Now we just run them through to the battery. So we'll have to take these off. And then, uh, this one we'll run into. Now the moment of truth. If he flicks that switch, it should have power. There you go. Now all you have to do is plug some 110 in there and see if it runs. So that's jack set up. So comes in pretty good. Nice little layout, clean, and uh, power to the inverter, and it works. Now, what's your next step, Jack? The next step is to run the cord or the wire into here for the refrigerator. Okay, and then run a set of wires into here to run the control panel. So this is going to go in here. So that's a 12 volt box so you'll be able to run uh, lights or anything 12 volt from right. that. And then when I add my vent next, the vent will wire into this. Okay. So for power going to the refrigerator, got us a cable here that we're going to put a end on it, male end. That will plug into the uh, inverter and then it runs behind the wall and then we have a, a DC panel that we're going to be connecting right here against the wall. That's what the black and red wire are for. And then we've got our power cable going over to our box right here in which the refrigerator will plug into and he'll be able to power that refrigerator. All right, so now we just got to get that all connected. Everything's buttoned up. Solar panels in. The wire chases in. Wires come in. The inverter's here. The controller is here. The battery's all locked down. We've got the wire ran to the refrigerator in here. We've got the switch panel, the rocker panel for future uh, use. So that's all wired in and ready to go. I just hit the button there. And we're all lit up. The refrigerator. She's cold in the freezer.
got the GFI, GFCI for uh, plugging in the refrigerator right here. And that's where the refrigerator is. It was originally plugged in back here to AC power, but now we hit the 21st century. <laughs> Jack has hit the 21st century. We got solar power. This rocker panel here is for future use and the next project is right here. We're going to install the vent, the fan and vent right here and uh, we'll probably put one light in here with solar power because this one is for when I'm connected to the truck so I have power when I connect to the truck and I might add a light back here too for solar mm -hmm. and uh, everything is oversized so I'm not worried about uh, having to upgrade as I add the whole system's in right now for what I have. I'm set up for future to add a vent fan and lights. So uh, everything's working, refrigerator's working. That was my goal was to get the refrigerator running off of solar so when I leave the house to go camping, I can put load that up and I don't have to put everything in a cooler. And I'm liking it. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I hope you like it, and I hope it can help you in some way. And uh, I'm liking it, and I hope you do too. Have a good day.